please, if you quit taking the phone away from me, you'd know that we were already talking about that. <laughs> Stay and listen or, or leave me alone, buddy. Come on. Okay, here's the deal. So, as part of meeting the needs of the city of Hardin, where we're coming in and we're going to be a neighbor, Hardin said, we need help with infrastructure. APS said, we got some, we want to provide your first vehicles. We'll bring them in. You can have the vehicles. Now, this was before I was hired with APS. The decision was made to buy temporary pr prototype magnetic placards to go on the, the doors that would say, I am... It, that would let the people of Hardin know what their police vehicles could look like. One of the things that the, that your your kind viewers who took those pictures and provided to you of the decals, right, Steve? You got you got those pictures. Alex said he did. Yes, I did. Hello. Okay. The thing that they missed. because I promised your listeners that I would explain this to them. Well, right, but you've had, you've had now three so, minutes. Let me just respond one minute to well, that. No, no, wait a minute. Alex took the phone for 90 seconds. Oh, okay. Alex came on the line, and he talked about bringing armed folks into Montana. The gentleman... No, 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 it's talking, pretty state constitution. I know no, that's evil. But no, it's not evil. I live by it. The well, gentleman you can't say that, that because it I've is already, unconstitutional. You can't say you live I, by uh, something that's unconstitutional. Now, the thing that is uh, that I think now, you let need me to finish. be aware... No, you need to be aware. Let me finish. No, let me finish because you're saying something that I don't get a chance to respond to, okay? Okay. Those details okay, we're good. carried a Serbian crest on them. We tracked the ownership of the company that used that. APF took down their website. Seriously, you need to know this. Well, my webmaster and I were on the phone. It was down, it was up, it was down, it was up. The thing is, is that one thing led to another, Becky, and I'm just saying this. It is conceivable that what you know is what you know, what you've been told, and you take it at, 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 at face value. And I understand Harden's economic plight. I live in Montana, have for the past 40 years, so I know what's going on, okay? But the thing that I think that you're losing uh, uh, focus on is that the people are seeing a bigger picture just than uh, Harden's financial dramas. The idea okay. is this. Steve, the idea Steve, is this. Let, is me, that finish, let, let, me, let me address two topics that you've brought to me. Number one is is the section of our Constitution that Alex read to you. The context that that was brought up in is how are you going to staff a detention facility and do it within the Constitution? What we what we do is, is we do it legally. We hire local people. We train them to the level required by the state of Montana, and the state of Montana has stringent certification um, requirements for detention officers. We're going to bring him in and do that, okay? Hold on. Steve, Steve, I want to throw it back to you. We're going to break here in about four minutes, uh, and we want to get the tour uh, uh, finished here, but but I want to go ahead and just give you the floor till we go out to break. Then later in the, uh, well, I guess the show is 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 uh, got about an hour and ten minutes left, correct? Correct. Uh, guys at the network? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm good. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, I just want to give her the last word and throw it to you in this segment the next for uh, the other breaking news you have. But I want to give Becky, just as we go to break here, about two minutes, then you throw it to break in the last two minutes. Come back with Steve Quayle. Okay, Steve? That's fine. Okay, uh, here's Becky. Becky, a final comment because we're about to go to break. Steve, my only comment at this point is that I want to thank you and Alex and all of your listeners for giving me an opportunity to talk today. As I've said in local media all day, my, my focus is on the people of Hardin, and some of them are gathered around me now. We're going to be outside now because I'm going to finish the tour of the property here. So I'm going to say goodbye to you and your viewers or your listeners. Thank you very Steve, much, you and I, Steve, you and I had a, uh, a little plan to meet and have me be on your show. You, you kind of got a little bit usurped by Alex there. So let's you and I do another show together, okay? Good. Sure, but again, okay. I want to make it clear. Steve, that. yes, go ahead. Steve, go, go, go ahead. Steve, I want to get your comment, and we're gonna, and then I'm gonna get off the phone and let you come back in the next segment. I just want to point out that all these people running this are foreigners. They have to hire a local to be their front person because they're all foreigners. Right, and I, Alex, I, the the main issue is is that 
the hardened city limits versus the uh, reservation. There are different laws that apply yes, to this reservation. This is on the reservation. This is on the reservation. Hardened, right. for those that don't know, is on the line of the state and the crow. Uh, that's what it says on my roadmap they gave me at their car rental. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And that's what I'm saying. And, and for those that we'll talk when we come back after the break, all you have to see is the parallel to the Cabazon. For those who don't know about it, what that means is you can get away with, oh, let's use the word, uh, you can get away with everything you want that's unconstitutional when you're doing it in a territory versus the st United States. So there are legal questions, and I believe that's what the real crux of the matter is. That you can do things in a reservation. We have the Cabazon Indian Reservation in California, Insla Promise Software, CIA, and that's where it all goes, Alex. I think we just dropped Alex Jones. We have Steve Quinn. Well, with us, Alex Jones on the ground in Hardin, Montana. This is just simply unbelievable. She's pretty much confirming that this is a foreign-run Merck service called American Police Force. How ironic. It is hardly American. It is hardly what the Founding Fathers stood for to bring in foreign mercenaries to police the American populace, Steve. Well, absolutely, Jason. I'm, sure, I'm looking at the aliases of one man that supposedly is the head of the APF, and we've got at least a half a dozen, no, I'm sorry, one, two, I'll count them off screen, I'll send this to you, probably eight or nine Middle Eastern aliases. You guys track the Pakistani tie, I track the Kuwaiti tie. Uh, you know, the bottom line is, is that we're really, really dealing with, uh, can I tell you something, we're dealing with the surface, I understand the hardened people, they want jobs, that place has been so depressed, that's not the issue, the issue is, is there major foreign entities? that are going to be training mercs used against us, and it's the ideal place to take people under whatever. Now, look, I stand by my the person that sent me the information. They were told by a city council member that the whole situation was the forced vaccinations, the gun issue, etc. And when we come back, I want to address those with Alex. Absolutely. We're going to have you on for one more segment. It's the Alex Jones Show. I'm Jason Burma sitting in. Just an amazing amount of intel coming up, coming in from Hardin, Montana. Again, USA Today picking up on the story. The Boston Herald picking up on the story. It's just unbelievable to me that we now live in a country where they can hire a multiple felon, a multiple felon with civil suits pending against him of over a million dollars in losses, somebody who has been a con man acting as though he is a car salesman, an arts dealer, a foreign uh, military man, someone who advised on the war in Iraq and Afghanistan, and this is the guy that's going to head this up. And like you said, they're going to use tribal lands to train foreign mercenaries and militaries. This this was foreshadowed this summer with National Level Exercise 09, where they went into uh, FEMA Region 6, which included Montana, by the way, and they took over national, regional, local, and tribal governments, prepping them for this situation. And now we have it coming to fruition in front of our eyes, Steve. And, and you've laid it out absolutely perfectly. The thing is, though, the timetable has now been moved up. And, and that's the thing, Jason, that I'm really concerned with. Because while Alex is on the ground in Hardin, Montana, having flown into Billings, all the people he's meeting there. I mean, I'll tell you one thing that Montanans are. Montanans just, as they say it like they see it, and they call it like it is, okay? We're too rural. Where Alex is, is incredibly rural. Uh, the area around the Prior Mountains uh, is, is incredibly rural. So when you've got hard work, Montanans, eyewitnesses talking to Alex and sending me emails while we're on the air together. I got to tell you something. This isn't Bravo Sierra. This is real time warning. And, uh, and here's the thing that people don't understand. This is how they're working across the country. They, the powers that be that are going to put us under martial law, are buying off, bribing, and giving bonuses, if you will, to people that tell on people. I mean, this is just so out of control. And I might. My and Steve, goes, they are targeting. They are targeting economically destitute areas where people are willing to go along to get along. Next segment coming up with Steve Quayle. It's the Alex Jones Show. I'm Jason Burma sitting in the latest over at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv.